hello everyone so welcome to one more video in this uh, list of uh, videos on uh, financial accounting and uh, in this particular uh, video we are going to see how a trial balance is made already i made one video in the earlier one how to make trial balance this is just for practice this is a one more question i am i am doing so this is problem 3-6a Uh, from the third chapter of uh, a book on uh, financial accounting and uh, if you are following this playlist you might have already seen this so this is a book financial accounting 7th edition uh, from uh, wheely uh, publications okay so on this in this uh, there is a problem 36a and i am trying to do this so if you <coughs> if you are already aware of this so basically uh, the question is displayed on your screen so first uh, the first part of the question is like this so there is a trial balance given as of september and the october month transactions are given and uh, the the <coughs> instructions are like this prepare a general ledger using t accounts and uh, journalize the transactions and post to the ledger accounts and prepare the trial balance as of october 31 so these uh, are the uh, uh, instructions so you can pause the video here and you can try to answer this question based on what i taught you in the last video uh, otherwise you can you know so that you can compare your answers otherwise you can just continue and you'll be able to uh, work with me on this particular problem okay so let's get started so um, again to just give you a review uh, in this particular playlist uh, i am trying to do what is called as a accounting cycle of all the steps so right now we are uh, uh, com we have completed up to here cal calculating the unadjusted trial balance so that is uh, this particular video and in the next video we will see making and adjusting entries and all these other things okay so let's go back and uh, work on this okay okay so <clears throat> first thing that is given is uh, trial balance of september 30 and then here it is saying pre prepare a general ledger using t accounts enter the opening balances in the ledger accounts as of october 1 so this is september 30 closing uh, of the day business so the opening of october 1 will have the same balances okay and the provision should be made for the additional accounts dividend service revenue so so first of all let's look at these accounts so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 accounts are there so for each of this account i will make a general ledger first okay so that's what i will do here so um, this is problem uh, let me leave some gap okay so problem 3-6a and uh, solis company so in this solis company uh, general ledger so general ledger will have all the t accounts of all the accounts so first is cash so i am just exactly reproducing what is given here in the trial balance <coughs> cash accounts receivable okay, so cash and accounts receivable usually for cash we keep little big one because there will be more uh, cash transactions next i have supplies and equipment i'm sorry here you can see supplies and equipment so i have supplies and equipment i think three lines is enough for that and next we have uh, accounts payable unearned service revenue okay so accounts payable unearned service revenue and next we have last two common stock and retained earnings so common stock retained earnings okay so these are the accounts which are already 
available here and we have the balances also so let's see cash has a debit balance of 19200 so let's make that entry here 19200 cash is having a debit balance of 19200 accounts receivable 2600 okay so as a debit balance similarly supplies having a opening debit balance of 2100 so 2100 so all of these are as of september 30 right so this i can say 30 september i'll just write 30 like this <coughs> now equipment has a balance of 8000 okay so that is also a debit balance by the way these are all assets right so assets will have a debit balance whereas these are liabilities so they are having credit balance see accounts payable credit balance of 4800 so 4800 is the opening credit balance unearned service revenue has a opening credit balance of 1100 so this is basically a uh, kind of posting uh, reverse from the trial balance we are posting it to t accounts normally from t account we take it to trial balance but since this is the opening of the cycle so we are doing this next common stock common stock 15000 credit balance so make sure again you write it on the right side if you write it on the left side then your entire answer will be wrong and retained earnings of 11000 so this is my uh, uh, all the eight entries that I made it here. But if you look at the question, so it is provision should be made for additional accounts, dividends, service revenue, salaries and wages expense and utilities expense. So some additional are there. So let me write that also. Dividends. <coughs> I'm sorry. Service revenue. salaries and uh, wages expense utilities expense so i made four additional accounts uh, that pro maybe they will be useful in the problem okay. so so finally now i have uh, all this uh, general ledger open with all the initial balances here the initial balances are zero next if you go to the question so we have october transactions are given okay so that means now we need to do generalizing so okay so let's do that so this is um, solis company and i will say general journal j1 that is a page number and uh, you know the structure of the journal date then we have account explanation then we have reference then we have debit and then we have credit so let me do it with hand okay so what's our first uh, transaction October 5th <coughs> received 1300 in cash from customers for accounts receivable due okay so you are receiving cash that means cash is increasing that means cash should debit 1300 okay. so <coughs> sorry for the cough so cash is debited by 1500 I'm sorry 1300 now accounts receivable is credited by 1300 so because there were it is mentioned here this this is not a new cash it is just for accounts receivable due okay so like in fact if you go back look at accounts receivable already there is a debit balance of 2600 there so now we are crediting that by 1300 that means accounts receivable will come down <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> okay let's continue on 10th october build customer for services performed 5100 you are billing the customer okay so that is on 10th so when you are billing the customer accounts receivable will be 
debited by 5100 okay so these are in dollars and service revenue will be credited by 5100 because this is your service revenue that you are that you are earning next what happens in the next transaction okay so october 15th paid employee salaries of 1200 okay so october 15th salaries and uh, wages expense 1200 and cash will credit by 1200 so this again because cash will decrease expense will increase that is uh, this one next performed 600 dollars of service in exchange for cash so again good so we are getting 17th cash increased by 600 dollars and uh, service revenue also will increase by 600 dollars next transaction on 28th paid 1900 to creditors for accounts payable due okay so you have an accounts payable due and you paid okay so cash will credit accounts payable will debit okay. so so here accounts payable will be decreasing okay so liability is decreasing that means it is debit so accounts payable 1900 and cash will credit by 1900 the date for this transaction is 28th I believe next on 29th paid 300 dollar cash dividend okay so let's do that here so on 29th now uh, dividend is a debit account and cash will 300 will decrease and the last transaction we have that is utilities okay, so you are paying the utilities bill okay, so on october 31st so utilities expense uh, and cash will be the credit account 400 dollars so this uh, now uh, what you see on your screen completes all the all the transactions uh, that are listed here so we have done the journal entries so we have done this preparing general uh, t accounts and we have done this journalizing the transactions including explanations now posting to the ledger accounts so these entries we need to post to the ledger accounts so let us do the posting okay first october 5th cash debit 1300 accounts receivable credit 1300 Okay, so cash debit 1300 accounts receivable credit 1300 so this is on fifth okay. so like this for each uh, transaction we need to write okay so this is done this is done on 10th accounts receivable debit by 5100 okay so accounts receivable debit debit by 5100 on 10th this is done next service revenue credit by 5900 okay so i have uh, service revenue here credit by 5100 this is on 10th next uh, salaries and wages expense debit by 1200 that is on 15th okay salaries and debit by 1500 on 15th okay i'm sorry 1200 not 1500 this kind of mistakes are very difficult to find so always all the time cross check cash credited by 1200 okay so again cash is credited by 1200 So this is on seventh, uh, fifteenth. Uh, Next, now cash is debited by six hundred. So that is on seventeenth. 
then uh, this is done service revenue debit uh, created by 600 okay, so again uh, 617th okay accounts payable debit by 1900 okay so that is 20th I'm sorry is it yeah accounts payable is debited because they are paying back okay so now cash is created by 1900 okay so that is also correct okay so next uh, dividends 300 debit okay, so dividend debit by 300 this is on uh, 29th and cash is created by 300 this is on 29th then finally uh, last uh, transaction utilities expense increase by 400 okay, so utilities expense debit by 400 this is on 31st October and cash will credit by 400 because it's an expense it's paid in cash <coughs> now we have all our journal entries we have posted into the general ledger now after posting you need to calculate the balances okay so what is the balance here you can just add it 5100 plus this one 5700 is your balance here balance is 412 these are all single entries so balance is same now so here we'll do the balance credit side is 4800 debit side is 1900 so here 4800 minus 1900 so this will be 2900 is our uh, credit balance supplies equipment everything now let's do for this one so accounts receivable so 2600 plus 5100 minus 1300 so 6400 is the accounts receivable balance Similarly, cash balance. <coughs> Again, be careful. So, 19,200 was the opening balance plus 1300 plus 600 minus 1200 minus 1900 minus 300 minus 400. So, we are getting a balance of 17,300 in the cash balance. in the debit side okay so now all my uh, general ledger entries are uh, completed balances are calculated so now <coughs> i can go for trial balance so solis company so as of 31st october 2014 trial balance So what is my trial balance so first i will write all the uh, all the entries so this these entries are exactly same so if you see these are as it is so the accounts so i have cash accounts receivable supplies equipment accounts payable unearned service revenue common stock and retained earnings <coughs> now if you look here uh, the four new accounts have been added right these four new accounts here also they are mentioning you know provision uh, to be made for all this thing so these four accounts also i will write <coughs> dividends then service revenue then i have salaries and wages expense I 
and I have utilities expense. So I have uh, debit and credit. Now we already did the balances here. So let's see. So utilities expense 400 is the credit debit balance. So here I will write 400. Salaries and wages 1200 is a debit balance. So 1200. Service revenue has a credit balance of 5700. So 5700. Dividends. Dividend has a debit balance of 300. So 300. Okay. <coughs> now retained earnings. Okay. So retained earnings 11,000. So basically this retained earnings is as of 30th September. So your retained earnings is old value actually. So but still I am writing here. Uh, that is 11,000 credit balance. Okay. This is an important point I will tell later. See even though here date is 31st October. I am having the retained earnings of the last month 30th September. So basically what we have to do is in the adjusted trial, this is a regular trial balance unadjusted in the adjusted trial balance i will adjust the retained earnings value and post the correct number anyway we will come to that later now uh, common stock 15000 credit okay so common stock 15000 credit unearned service revenue so unearned service revenue credit of 1100 okay so that is same Now accounts payable, accounts payable, it used to be opening balance used to be 4800. Now the closing balance is 2900. Okay, so that's what I'll write here 2900. Now equipment, equipment there is no change, same balance is continuing 8000. Supplies, <coughs> so supplies uh, also no change, the same balance continues 2100. next uh, accounts receivable so if you here if you see accounts receivable uh, some transactions happened and finally the balance is debit balance of 6400 so 6400 and finally cash a lot of cash transactions happened and the debit balance of 17300 so now uh, i have all the entries uh, done in the trial balance so this is unadjusted trial balance okay, so let us find the totals so uh, we just have to add now. So 17,300 plus 6,400 plus 2,100 plus 8,000 plus 300 plus 1,200 plus 400. So I'm getting a total of $35,700. So this is the uh, debit balance. Now it should match with the credits. So let us see. 2900 plus 1100 plus 15,000 plus 11,000 plus 5,700. So again, exactly $35,700. So this is exactly matching. So our trial balance is also correct. So this way we created the trial balance. So uh, again, come back to this. So what we did is we recorded the transactions posted to the general ledger and unadjusted trial balance we have made. Actually, according to this, uh, whatever is asked in the instructions, this problem is completed. So we did this and we did this. But now just for, uh, uh, you know, uh, just explaining what is this adjusting entries, I will do that also. See what I will do is I want to prepare an adjusted trial balance. Okay. So, but then that that one I'll do it in the next uh, video uh, because this video up to here is the unadjusted, you know, uh, trial balance. Why we are calling unadjusted trial balance is this retained earnings figure which is eleven thousand. So here, if you see uh, in the question also which is given as of September thirty the retained earnings is 11,000. 
so during the month of uh, october these transactions happened some revenue is earned some expenses have happened so the retained earnings have to be updated so it, that process of of uh, considering all these dividends and expenses and revenues adjusting into retained earnings that process is called adjusted trial balance right now we have unadjusted trial balance in the next video we will uh, do that uh, adjustments thanks for watching if you like this video please press the like button and you can share and subscribe and you can refer my videos to your friends so i am making a playlist on uh, accounting cycle thanks see you in the next video